We are back with the Minnesota Dynasty coming fresh off a win against the number four team in the country, Justin's number four Kentucky Wildcats, back-to-back -back national champions, down early in the season by the Minnesota Golden Gophers, who stumbled out of the gate but seemingly have found their footing after that big win, and they look to continue it today by taking out this undefeated Penn State Nittany Lion team. Would be two huge back-to-back -back road wins for the Golden Gophers. And we'll just see how this goes. Get it underway here pretty quick. So defense first here for Minnesota on the road against Penn State. A lot of young, young guys on this defense. You're going to see a lot of white spack on these guys' ankles. Those are my freshmen, my red shirt freshmen. That's one of them right there. How about that, breaking up the play? That's a linebacker. It's going to be second down 10 for Penn State. Broken up by Davis, third down and 10. The guy who sealed the deal last week against Kentucky coming up with a huge defensive swat that time. And now, third down and 10 for Penn State. Opportunity for Minnesota to get off the field here. And they're going to sack Turner, loss of seven, fourth and 17. It's Hooper getting in there. And Minnesota's going to get the ball here. First and 10 for Minnesota. They're going to hand it off to Moody, the freshman running back. He loses four. It's going to be second and 14. Mm. Freshman quarterback, freshman running back in this backfield. From Minnesota Anderson, a rough start. Three touchdowns, five interceptions. He's got the goods, though. As you see here with Morrow on that catch, 18 yards downfield. First and 10. He's got a great arm. They got high hopes for him that he's going to progress in the possibly, as the head coach has put it, one of the greatest all time at Minnesota when it's all said and done. That's extremely high praise for your freshman quarterback. Oh, no. That's not going to do it, though. Sixth interception of the season for the young quarterback, and it's going to be first and ten ball at the 18 for Penn State. That's 
trash. First and goal for Penn State. Touchdown, Nittany Lions, and it's going to be 6 nothing early. Johnson fields it from the goal line. And gets it out past the 40 yard line. Couldn't have gone much worse for Minnesota on that first drive, so here we go. First and 10. Well, it could get a lot worse. Jesus Christ. Coming out with my head up my fucking ass right now. yards it's going to be third down and manageable for Minnesota Dude, oh my god. First down still though. Agree. Crowds into it. Freshmen looking like them. And there goes Jeremy Moody around the corner. He's at the 10, the 5. Can he get in? He does. 41 yard touchdown and it's 6 to 7. Minnesota with the answer. The freshman running back scores on the stretch play from 41 yards out. Good grief. And the extra point ties at 7 all. How about this? Big hit on the quarterback. He gets 12 yards, but pays the price. And brought down for no gain. Second down at 10 for Penn State. Brought down, no gain again. It's going to be third down and 10 for the Nittany Lions. And they're going to bring him down after an eight yard reception, fourth down and two for Penn State. And they're going to punt this ball away. 
And Minnesota's going to take over from the two-yard line. Jesus. The eight-yard line here. And Minnesota starting right back up again here. And they're going to hand it off to the freshman running back who gets five, and it's going to be second and five here. A minute 24 left in the first quarter. They're really letting him run today. I mean, they, they've been kind of keeping him close to the chest here. But letting him loose today so far, and he's looking pretty good. As Lawrence Johnson gets two yards on that triple option. Well covered, third down and three. And Moody is going to run a man over, and he gets the first down. First and 10, Minnesota. He's up to 45 on the day. get out to Wilkerson, another freshman. 11-yard reception. It's going to be first down to 10 for Minnesota. Ball to 29. Slowly but surely moving it right here. Trying to get Anderson settled in here. And Moody goes in and hits the hole hard and gets about 18 more. First and 10 for Minnesota. The young freshman up to 63 yards here in the first quarter. Looks like he's poised to have a really big day if he keeps this performance up. Johnson is going to get two, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. We're tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Minnesota driving here. And hopes to make this, or really to retake the lead of the game. So, sacked. Loss of 10, and it's going to be third and eight. Penn State brought too many. They couldn't block them all right up the middle, and a blown block, too, as well, on the offensive line. And now it's going to be third and long for Minnesota. Over the top to the freshman, incomplete. It's going to be fourth and 18 for Minnesota. Wow. And they're going to punt this ball back to Penn State now. Looks like a good punt. He's going to take it inside the 20. Big hit by Robinson, and it's going to be first and 10 for Penn State at about the 29, 30-yard line. Play goes for 26. First and 10 for Penn State. Almost intercepted by Davis. Would have been his fourth of the year. Instead, it's a deflection. It's going to be second down and 10 for Penn State. Blew that one right up. The same play they just ran, just on the other side of the field. Gutsy call by the OC. And sacked by Hooper. Loss of eight, and it's third down and 18. Penn State gives up the big sack on second down and 10.
Intercepted by Peterson. And he is going to get tackled at about the 35, and that's a turnover for this Minnesota defense. Jermaine Peterson, the senior redshirt free safety, and the Golden Gophers get the ball back. First down and 10. And they're going to keep feeding Moody as the freshman continues to run really well. Six yards on that one, second down and four. Up to almost 70 yards on the ground today. And Hines is going to catch that for 16 yards and gets out of bounds. First down and 10 for Minnesota. Johnson, who gets three yards, second down and seven. Fresh from the left side, caught him behind. And the ball's at the 42 for Minnesota. And Johnson trying to get outside, almost does. He only gets seven yards. It's going to be third and inches. Third and inches for Minnesota right now. Moody goes up the middle, gets seven yards, first down and ten. And ball at the 28 now. Mm. Moody and Nixon in the backfield. And they're going to run it to Moody again. He gets two yards, second down and eight. And he hits Morrow, and he drops the catch. Wide open, gets hit as he was trying to make the catch and could not hold on. Third down and eight. The cavalry's coming. And he gets it out to Moody, who loses about four. It's going to be fourth and 11 for Minnesota. Pressure is too much. Offensive line just can't hold up against these Penn State and Nittany Lions defensive line. Looks like they're going to go for it. Wow. Gutsy call. Gutsy call early in this game. They're going to Wilkerson. It's incomplete. Turnover on downs for Minnesota, and Penn State gets the ball back with two minutes and 12 seconds left. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes. When you got that kind of confidence in your defense with how they're playing right now, I can't really blame you for it. And the quarterback draw goes for no gain. Second down at 10. Shit me, dude. Just no fucking way, man. Christian Hackenberg would have never made that play. That's just me. Good God. Big sack, loss of eight. Second and 18 for Penn State. Buck 37 left in the half. That's their first of the half. So the sack makes this the second and long. Steps out of bounds. 
four-yard gain. It's going to be third and 14 for Penn State. A minute 34 left in the half. Almost intercepted by Brandon Robinson, the freshman, and it's going to be fourth and 14 now for Penn State with a minute and 29 seconds left on the half. We'll see how aggressive that Minnesota decides to get here. Wow, are you serious? Come the fuck on, dude. Second interception of the game, and now Penn State has the ball with a minute 18 inside the 30. They're just going to break every fucking tackle. Jesus Christ. Dude. Come the fuck on. This game does the stupidest shit. I mean, it's just like, there's nothing you can do about it sometimes. It's just bull, man. Such bull. Just getting straight robbed right now on some absolute crap. Mm. First and ten. For Minnesota with a minute and nine left in the half. Quarterback's already thrown two interceptions. Boom. Huge play to the tight end inside the 20. And Minnesota, a 51-yard reception by Tremaine Singletary with, a, with 37 seconds left in the half. Wow. Huge play, and now Minnesota threatening with 37 seconds left in the half. Wow. Moody around the corner and down at the one-yard line. 16-yard run. It's first and goal for Minnesota. Wow. 30 seconds remaining in the half, and they probably ought to just run this right at them here, and they do. Touchdown, Minnesota. And it's going to be a one-point game with 26 seconds left. PAT pending to tie this one up. Wow. Wow. They got really aggressive on offense that time, and it paid off huge. Huge play. Back-to-back -back for Minnesota, and it's first down and 10 for Penn State. And, oh, my God. This guy's impossible to tackle. That should be the last play of the half, unless they're going to hurry up and run another one. Nope. 14 all at the end of one half. And Penn State to get the ball here on the other side of the half. Mm. Governor's victory belt up for grabs. Actually, we get the ball, so never mind. Up for grabs here at the half. Completely tied at 14. Both teams showing a lot of promise on both sides of the ball, but neither one has been able to string a couple drives together on both sides of the ball to try to get the upper hand here. So we're tied at 14 at the half. The freshman Anderson having a little bit of a rough day. Caught by Moody. Nope, dropped. Tipped at the line, dropped, and it's going to be second down and 10 for Minnesota.
and he gets it out to Morrow finally. A 20-yard reception, first down at 10. Michael Morrow from Anderson, and it's going to be first down at 10. Perfectly covered triple option. Loss of four. Never had a chance to get it going. And he gets it tomorrow again. First down and ten, and he's going to be down hurt now. That could be a big loss for Minnesota, depending on how serious it is. Good grief. And it's first and ten ball at the 41. They go handoff to Moody. He gets to the second level. He gets five yards, second and five. Yard away from his first 100-yard game is a Golden Gopher. Walking is horrendous. Loss of six. It's going to be third down and 11 for Minnesota. They know how to disrupt the play. He airs it out. Caught by Morrow. He mossed the defender. 34 yard reception. And Minnesota is threatening. Wow. What a grab. That right there is why Michael Morrow is the leading receiver on this team right now. What a grab by that man. Good grief. And Hines comes in front of him, makes the catch. Will it stand? And it's going to be a holding call, no touchdown for Minnesota. Wow. Wow. Would have been a huge play, possibly something that the freshman quarterback could build off of, and the head coach is hot. He's mad. Does not like that that call at all. And it's going to be first and goal from the 17 now for Minnesota. Oh, you got to be shitting me, dude. Oh, my God. Literally got pinched between the defenders, and there was no pass interference called. Got pinched. My guy literally got trapped between the defenders, and they didn't call pass interference. That's just ridiculous. Oh, my God, dude. Loss of four, and it's going to be second and 14 for Penn State. Broken up, and it's third down and 14 for Penn State. Cooper breaks up the pass, and it's fourth down for Penn State. We're going to punt this one away here. Davis back to return it. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets 
it away. And this is a really nice punt. Davis fields it at the 37. He makes it out to me. Ball at the 45 to start this drive. For Anderson, it's been a rough night. Well, sometimes when quarterbacks make mistakes like this, there's a tendency to want to force the issue. And he's trying to just do too much. I think he just needs to settle down, let the game come to him. And then I think he has a chance to be able to get his confidence back and get this offense going. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after... Moody gets 20 yards, first down and 10 for Minnesota. He's up to 119 now. Ball to 26. From the 26-yard line, first down. Moody up the sideline, the right side, and he scores. 26-yard touchdown. Minnesota finally gets it in the end zone again, and it's going to be 20-14 to with 2.49 left in the third quarter. How about that? And the Golden Gophers take the lead in this rivalry game. Big hit by Peterson. It's a six-yard reception, second down and four. Third down and two for Penn State. And it's fourth down and one. They stopped him. The freshman middle linebacker got in on that one. And they're going to punt this ball away again. Minnesota with a chance to take control of this game. Can they do it? And the running back is out of the backfield, and he muffs it. He drops it. He was wide open going down the sideline, and he dropped the pass. Would have been a huge play for Minnesota, and instead it's going to be second down and 10. Ugh, just no help for this quarterback right now. And then there's Michael Morrow, 17-yard reception, first down and 10. Mark Anderson. And Moody. <laughs> running back. Missed the block ahead of him, but gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second down and 10. It's up to 145 yards rushing. And Hines makes a man miss, and he is going to score. It's a two-touchdown lead for Minnesota. 27-14, to 14, Golden Gophers. 44-yard touchdown pass, and Mark Anderson gets a touchdown for the first time today. 48 seconds left in the third quarter, and the Golden Gophers have a two-touchdown lead. Wow. Making the most of the opportunities. That's what separates a good team from a great team. And Minnesota capitalized right there, an opportunity to try to take control of this game. Seven-yard run, second down and three for Penn State. 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. First down and 10 for Penn State. Slinked. 
Massey, the freshman strong safety, brings him down. Second down and 11. Six seconds left in the third. That's going to be the last play of the third. And it's 28-14 Minnesota. Shutting out Penn State here in the third quarter and taking the lead by two touchdowns. Partly on that play right there was a big one. And then, of course, you got Moody, who's just going off the freshman running back today. Intercepted by Davis at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 touchdown defense. Minnesota 34, Penn State 14, and the Golden Gophers tighten their grip around the Nittany Lions' throat. Tip drill, pick six, touchdown, Minnesota. And it's going to be a three touchdown lead. Wow. Just like that, that's how you start off the fourth quarter. You want to finish? That's how you start, right there. Chase forces the fumble, and it's going to end up being a loss of seven. My goodness. He rolled right off of that right tackle into the quarterback, and the ball came flying out. Good Lord. Minnesota's defense is amped up. Good Lord Almighty. You can just feel the momentum is shifting towards the Golden Gophers right now. Intercepted by Davis again. That's his second one in four plays. And it's going to be the third turnover by Penn State of the game. Third interception. And Minnesota might just be able to put the nail in the coffin here on this drive. Wow. Wow. And they're going to hand it off to Moody. Going up the right side. He's done great going that way all night. Four-yard run, second down and six. Golden Gophers. Under five minutes remaining. Ball at the 26. He's going to get Hines down to the 10. A 15-yard reception, first and 10. For Minnesota at the 11. Wow. Gotta finish here if you're Minnesota. And he gets Morrow down to the one, a nine yard reception, second and one. At the one. And Minnesota can do it right here on this play. Moody breaking a tackle, loses four yards. It's going to be third down and four for Minnesota. And he gets Morrow in the end zone, five yards, and it's 41 to 14, Minnesota. Second touchdown pass of the game from Mark Anderson. And just like that, it's a 28 point lead with 335 left. Or, ooh, excuse me, they missed the PAT. It's going to be 41 14. 17 point, uh, no, 27 point lead with 335 left. And Williams brings him down for a loss of one. Second and 11 for Penn State. They come out in a five wide set. Brought down for eight yards, third down and three.
First down and ten. And Chase gets him again, a sack and loss of five. <clears throat> Second and fifteen now. Second and fifteen. Ball on their own thirty one. He wants it all going long. Wow. Nothing you can do about that. That's just gonna they're gonna give them a dime every single time. Excellent play here by the quarterback. Make Pull it away from my DB late, too. Mm. The offense running for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing. Morrow, 21 yard reception, first down at 10. Morrow inside the 10, 14 more, first and goal. Wilkerson touchdown. Minnesota goes up 47 to 21. Third touchdown pass of the game for Mark Anderson. He passes for his third touchdown. Finally getting comfortable here with two minutes left in the game. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Just under two minutes. Five yard reception makes it second down and five. Sacked. Loss of eight. It's Hooper getting in there again. Third down and 13 for Minnesota. Fourth and five. One minute and two seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they're going to punt this one away. Minnesota gets the ball back with 57 seconds left. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time. And Kirk and I are just looking to make our flight. Nineteen yards, first down and ten. Now he's scrambling. He heaves it deep. He's got him. Hines down to the one, a fifty yard reception, and it's first and goal for Minnesota. Wow. After the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Moody loses a yard. Second down and goal. Broken up, third down and goal for Minnesota. He's on the run. 
Anderson runs it in, and it's 54 to 21. Three seconds left in the game, and Minnesota with a statement win today. Coming off of that Kentucky win last week, they are a very for real team. And they will make stuff happen here. They're going to shake up this whole entire BCS system as they are up 54 to 21 on Penn State, and that's going to be the final 55 to, oops, 27, 28. And Minnesota, two big wins, knocking off two undefeated teams back to back weeks. And, as you can see, play of the game goes to the corner with two interceptions on the day, one pick six, and the Gophers are rolling.